Hi guys, this is Gautam Raj from GRB Web. In this tutorial, we are going to make a poll site. I mean, a survey site or something like poll site. So, this is a HTML form, this one, uh, which I am using for this tutorial. I just got it from an open source, uh, I mean, free website, this one. Uh, so, I have the following files with me. Like, I want to show you, like, I have files. Yeah, these are the files which I have. You launch comments. So, so these are the files. Uh, one is script and style and a contact form and contact submit form. I mean, this will submit form to this one, or uh, we can include this script into this one. So, this is the index file. This is this is what we are seeing here. So, home is linked up with index file we will get it same from our team or template so this is a video link to my website where i have hosted videos that is my youtube slash anandra and this one is contact form and we're gonna edit this one and we're gonna make uh, our new contact form in this one and here we are going to keep a poll option where a customer comes i mean a person comes and says what he want what he likes and in this tutorial we are also storing a person's ip address so we we cannot replicate a person cannot replicate number of polls so one ip address can vote our poll only once so and here we have some terminals where I got it from different people and this is the normal image uh, this is uh, PNG I mean PNG image and this is my website title and I am having few lines at the footer actually this was included in the header so this is what my theme and this is my plan for starting this website so let's uh, okay let's get started guys so index.php initially we have set up the title to an andra ed educating people and this is a five icon if we haven't set up yet and this is our main css and here the header is closing and this is body so we can start our work so initially in HTML format, we are going to uh, we are including all header, footer, and everything. Here you can see we are going to include uh, header in this, body in this, and everything. Even the footer will be included in this. But whereas in PHP, we can include that one in different files, and we can call them back into the index script so we can decrease the size of the script by using this technique that is include technique so i will show you how to do so first we need to create a folder let my folder be new folder called parts the parts of the website mainly i am going to keep uh, parts of index and contact both as both may have same parts so i want to divide a header and i want to show you how contact form looks contact so same header for both of these and same up to some body like up to here everything looks same So till here everything is same. So I don't want to repeat this for two times. So to decrease the size of the my web page, I want to create a new file uh, like PHP. I just want to delete everything. I want to save this as header inside the parts. Inside the parts, I want to store it as header. H E A D E R. 
so dot php here it is an empty form so we are taking the common thing out of all of the both files and we are removing it control x and i want to paste it here and same for this i want to save this and save this and save this so we have removed the header part where our script looks like this so what we need to do is we just need to include using php so php space include and here we are going to specify what we are going to include so we are going to include parts slash in header dot php closing this tag and that's it so we are including header into index.php so let's see how it's work it's working fine so so we are just doing same for contact so here we have done so no problem with this with both of these so everything for working fine so let's go ahead and remove the footer and create a new file called footer control line php control line delete and we are going to use footer so control shift s i want to save it as f o o t e r enter i just want all the terminals to be here on this page and this is the clear view here main is being closing here, here is the other clear view so let's see in the contact php whether it looks same yeah so we are having clear view here and same clear view here so we just copying this one and pasting it footer and removing this one php inc lud include include the file name and this close and so file name is fo sorry p a r t s slash f o t e r dot p h p If you are using the dream viewer the file which you have included will be displayed here so you can use these tab, these buttons to switch between these two i mean header and footer even a source code so here i also want to include the same just uh, copy this one and paste here so here let's check whether it's working fine or not I think everything will work fine. It's working fine. Yeah, everything is good now. So we need to create a form here. So edit git alpha is okay, and we are deleting all the stuff here. So now we are going to create a form like sorry like uh, mentioning a question here. I just want to mention question like uh, what kind of video. you need it what 
what kind of videos you needed okay what kind of training do you tutorial videos to you t o r a l tutorials video tutorial videos you needed so question mark and this is the question and i want to make it a s3 and i also want it with i want to end with h3 control s let's see how it look um, what kind of video video tutorials you need it looks somewhat big so let's change to h4 that's the better so this is a question and we were going to provide some answers like here like I want to use some select tool so select tool like uh, input select name is like ans I mean okay ans I don't need any ID or better I want to call some class 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 something no need of class in here so that's it select open and I want to keep an option on this option b value like 1 that's good for now and uh, I just also want to specify that 1 will be equal to something like uh, PHP tutorials And that's it. I want to close this one now. And I also want to close select control S. And we are going to have some only single option. And this is what we are going to have here. So here we can simply include a button to send their option. So simply include uh, submit button submit sorry input type yeah type submit value is equals to submit sorry we vote t vote and that's it this is what the form i made so just a small button which uh, means uh, vote and including this one uh, we have included this one actually the form will not work because we need to specify teacher form so first of all I want to specify this is a form so form and it will have submit I mean name of the form actually I don't want to specify any name to the form or anything so I just want to specify action word.php and my third should be of post and I want to close the form here so 
if now you click this one we will definitely get a error uh, for finding word.php that is not found there so I just want to replay, refresh this page uh, yeah if I hit this one so we are getting an error word.php is not found so okay we are just going to create a new fo uh, file uh, called PHP. I just want to delete everything. Save this as vote.php into my index folder that is another folder. So we vote te.php is the file. I just want to save it. So I also want client IP address. Whether the IP address was the same or he's using I mean he sent I just want to verify whether the IP address which the data is been collecting was different or the same so the client cannot enter more than one time so in PHP we have a variable 